double HD Nation stand up. Happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel and welcome new people. Thank you for subscribing. It means a lot. This is Hawk Holler Diecast and uh, today, like I said, it is Monday and it is Decide Your Ride. And today we are going over a 20 pack from 2011, 12-ish. So I'll open up the cars, I'll introduce them, and that way you guys can drop your comments down below and decide what rides you want for this week's monstrosity. But before we go any further, I wanted to let you guys know we did launch a new logo, which then inspired me to launch a spread shirt. So we do have Hawkeye Holler Diecast merch now. Just go ahead, go on down into the description and click that link. Go pick up some Hawkeye Holler Diecast merch for yourself. We got t-shirts, hats are currently out of stock, but got t-shirts and sweatshirts on there. So I already ordered mine, so they'll be here soon. So yeah, go, go ahead, go purchase yourself a t-shirt. Anywho, I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get this video started. All right, Double HD Nation. Like I said, in the beginning of this video, we are going over this awesome 20 pack from, let's look at the copyright date, 2011. So yeah, 2011, 2012, I purchased this from eBay for it was like $9.98 plus uh, I think it was like $7 shipping. So I'm in this for about 20 bucks. So I mean, I mean, honestly, less than what you pay in store for this by the time it comes to tax and everything. So very cool set to have. Sorry about that glare. I need to get better curtains in here. But yeah, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and... Ah, sorry, I was thirsty. I'm gonna crack this thing open, but let's just take a walk around of the box real quick. This is when they were doing the team Hot Wheels. Uh, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? DI, of course it would slip my mind. <laughs> but anywho, inspired by team, in, inspired by team Hot Wheels record jump truck which that is of course the off track right there so you got all this fun stuff there on the back yellow driver he is of course an off track of course these are the other things you can purchase from this line I am definitely interested in oh they don't have it the double dare loop oh that's all right I do want to try and find the five pack maybe on eBay I saw Race Grooves uh, review this, not interested at all. Of course, I mean, the box is just really, really nice to look at. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get it open. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. And of course, that is that awesome looking off track. Now we know how well off track did on King of the Hill, but now with the new Race Wars format and Monstrosity, can't wait to see how he does on both of those. So, again, if you guys want to represent Off Track this weekend for the monstrosity, just comment Off Track. All right. And next up, we have a 1971 Ford Maverick. Has that awesome Hot Wheels livery on there. It is Hot Wheels number eight. What a nice looking car. Beautiful. All right. So yeah, now we are, this week we are only running 20 vehicles, so be a little short videos this week and I have to figure out what, we, what we're what we gonna do for uh, King of the Hill, since we usually run 36, but anywho, moving on. This is Buzz Off, almost a like a formula racer with a body kind of thing. Looks like he has the aerodynamics. We'll see how well he does, so yeah. All right, now next up you have the Custom Mercury Cougar. Very Need for Speed Underground-ish looking. <laughs> Got that big old wang on the back. Look at that thing. Nasty. That's nasty. Oof. I love the colors though. I love the see-through hood. That thing's awesome. All right, and we got another truck here in the bunch. It is the Dodge Power Wagon. Now we do know the Jeep Gladiator did really well on our monstrosity as he did on King of the Hill and Race Wars. So 
Has the same kind of build, maybe all right. So if you guys want Power Wagon, drop your comments. All right, moving on to the second row. You have Maelstrom. Very cool looking car. Maelstrom used to be a ride at Disney World in Epcot. And then it got replaced with Frozen. Thanks, Disney. <laughs> this thing is sweet. If I were to pick a car, it'd probably be this one. That thing's nasty. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to start up. Yep, yep, I need to stop that now. All right, next up we have the Porsche Carrera GT. R.I.P. Paul Walker. Man, this thing's sweet. May do a little rough on some loops, though. It's pretty low. And it hangs out quite a bit, but... You never know, we've been surprised before. All right, next up you have the C6 Corvette. Very nice looking model. Very plain Janey. Got the 55 livery on there. Nice. Next up we have another Cadillac CN or Cadillac 100. I like this one, I like this color better than the Silver one, actually. I dig it. Oh, I like it a lot. So remember, guys, if you want any of these models, just drop your comments. All right, and next up we have the Avant Guard, or uh, how do I pronounce that? Let me see here. Avant Garde. Ariana Grande. Uh, this thing is sweet looking. I dig it. That's those nice five star wheels. Yeah. This thing's probably gonna just. It's light too. It's probably gonna be wicked all the way around. Alright, moving on to the next row. You have Ultra Rage. Has a little Trackstar logo right there. So you know he's gonna do well in the monstrosity, whatever that may be. Very good looking. Yeah, Ultra Rage. Next up, you have a Toyota Celica. So definitely another, ooh, that's loose. Probably from the way it was packaged in there. But yeah, another Need for Speed Tuner looking vehicle. Pretty neat. Can't say I'm a huge fan. I don't like, that. I don't like tuners at all. Well, that's just me. Give me an exotic or American muscle and I'll be happy. Yeah, I mean, I dig it. All right, then you're coming up to the 1999 Ford Mustang. Has the flames on there again. Okay, Is that duels? Dual exhaust, nope. All right, so if you want the 99 Ford Mustang, drop your comments. And now we're coming up to the 1970, 70, sorry, Chevy, Sev Jesus, 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS is with the Hot Wheels livery number nine. Oh yeah, can we do a wheelie? Wheelie, wee. But yeah, this thing, oh yeah, I think I may have my pick for uh, this week's events. Very cool. All right. Moving on, you have Silhouette 2. Definitely an odd looking model, but you know, it does pretty well. Again, I'm still looking at a, tur a turntable to put these on while I talk, so bear with my hands. <laughs> All right, and we're coming up to our final row. And you have, of course, Circle Tracker. Look at all those contingency sponsors there. Love this livery. I love that blue. Nice. Now you have the smushed 63 Corvette Stingray. Yes, this is part of that tuned line they have. And you know, it may, I think it may do all right. I mean, it's ugly, but I think it'll do a-okay. All right, next up you have the Chaparral 2D. 
Oh, that moves. Almost like an old uh, Rolex car. Why? Yeah, that's, yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. I say it's my favorite, but you know, it's a little skinny in the track. Oh, it's way skinny in the track. Just tested it. <laughs> All right, next up you have the Chevrolet. Chevrolet, yes. Chevrolet. Let that sink in, you guys. Chevrolet. I. Yeah, I mean, okay. I think this, honestly. I think it's gonna do well. It has a nice big body to grab and a booster. It fits in a track nice and snug. Holy moly. The only thing is with a kicker. Is a kicker gonna, you know, flip it over? Well, we'll find out. I think it's pretty wicked. Nice. All right, and lastly, you have the 1995 Camaro convertible. We've seen two of these in the past, so they seem to do pretty all right. Very nice. All right. So, yeah, there is your 20 pack for this week's events. Don't forget, your shout outs will come this weekend for the monstrosity. So, right now, go drop your comments. Pick a ride. I want to know which ones you pick. Now, if you guys pick a ride with another person, like let's say two of you pick the same car, you guys get to share that ride. I mean, there's only have a couple hundred of you guys as is, and only like 20 of you comment. So, It'll be all right. <laughs> Again, 20 cars, 20 picks. Let's uh, let's decide some rides and wrap up today's video while we're at it. All right, get to picking. And there you have it, Double H Nation. Another video is in the books. This time, another Decide Your Ride episode. So hopefully you guys are down there in those comments right now, picking your rides. Thank you, Remy. So I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted with a whatever he does. Hopefully you guys are down in those comments picking your rides. Hopefully you guys pick some goodies. We got a lot of goodies in that pack, so we're going to have some good racing. Now, tomorrow we will probably go over, I did get that brand new Track Builder Unlimited Boosted Booster Pack, so we will probably go over that tomorrow, so look forward to that. And then Wednesday we have Race Wars in that brand new layout. Cannot wait for that. I really like that layout. And then Thursday, we have King of the Hill. And then Friday, what are we gonna do Friday? May go over some Mario Kart stuff. We got three Mario Kart tracks that we could go over. Not gonna to go over all three of them in one day, but definitely may go over one or two. So, and then uh, this weekend we have the Monstrosity. Saturday, the buffer video will probably be this mystery eBay box I have sitting over here. But we can kind of open that and go through it. But also, my L case, from Hot Wheels did ship, so I'm really looking forward to that. Hopefully I'm one of the first ones to get my hands on that and showcase to you guys the double HD nation. But anywho, it's time to wrap up today's video, get these cars ready to go, get them prepped. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and smash that like button. That at least it lets me and YouTube know you do enjoy the content and you want to see more of it. This is Hawkeye Holler Diecast, where we review, showcase Hot Wheels cars, Hot Wheels tracks, Got NASCAR diecast in the back, and hopefully soon diecast hunting adventures will resume. But in the meantime, we have Race Wars, King of the Hill, and what I like to call the Monstrosity. The Monstrosity is a fantasy creation I come up with every weekend, and we test about 20 to 36 cars, see how well it does. But we also, uh, we're gonna start mixing it up. We're gonna start adding some competitions to this, uh, to this channel, like, uh, I'll just leave this with you right here. Super jump. Yeah. I'll just let your mind wander with that. So yeah, a super jump is uh, coming to the channel. Whether it's this weekend, I don't know. But uh, you'll just have to subscribe and have that bell rung to find out. Uh, but I mean, I, I don't know what's going to be this weekend because it's supposed to rain like starting Wednesday all through Sunday. So... I did get GoPros though, so we can work with some outside stuff just without boosters though, so it's doable. But anywho, you guys, with that being said, hopefully, like I said, hopefully, like I, I how many more times can I say, uh, like I said, don't challenge me. <laughs> but guys, like the video, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, go follow my socials, all those links are down below. The Discord is also down below, go join that. 
but also, like I said, at the, there it is again. Why? <laughs> like I said, oh my God, I said it again. Anywho, as I stated at the beginning of the video, I do have a spreadsheet now with double HD merch. So go check that out. Go purchase something for yourself, your loved ones. It, it, it would mean a lot if you guys would rep some merch. I mean, you're out in public, people are like, oh, Double HD, what is that? And you're like, oh, it's this guy from Iowa who plays with Hot Wheels. So it'd mean a lot if you guys would go buy some merch. So the link is down below. But anyway, you guys, I will see you all next time here at The Holler. Peace.